Hello guys, Mel Games to here. In this part, we are going to do Nugget Bridge. Now I'm going to fast forward these four trainers because they're really insignificant. This one's a bug catcher, so just use your flying type on it. I'd, I'm still not thinking he's a hiker. I have no idea why bug catchers are hikers. I mean, in Pokemon world, they're kind of like clans. You'd think that bug catchers would stay in the bug catching area and not come up here where there are no bugs whatsoever. <sighs> but you know, Pokemon logic. You know, it's not meant to make sense at all. And you're the only like character that seems to gain experience during fights. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so a spirit kind of just thrashes all these people. Bug catcher Kale. Hmm, that's quite a nice name. Oh, is this the annoying one? One of these lasses I find really annoying. Oh, it's not this one. Well, it could be. Yeah, this one's just useless. Useless trainer. It's really weird. I only fight six trainers in this episode. I can only just squeeze it in, even in this bit in double time. <sighs> That's even less logic than Pokemon logic. Video logic. It's even worse. And after some clipping at the end, it's 10 seconds. Um, no, it's 10 minutes and 1 second. Let's hope YouTube doesn't get all. Oh god, oh. More than 10 minutes. Ooh, go away. Anyway. Youngster Timmy, sometimes. Yeah. I think the Sandra is actually bigger than him. <laughs> That'd be funny. Mm. Now Water Talk gets to thrash something and get to level 17. God, I just don't stop using Spirit. Oh, this the seconds annoys me. I remember the seconds. It annoyed me. I forgot that fighting is not very effective against poison. That's my logic. And yeah, so pretty much the rest writes itself. Of course I win, but I get annoyed. I almost get poisoned. I was like, please don't get poisoned. But maybe that's a different fight. Where you can go deja vu again. Yep, this this is a really annoying trainer. She has probably the most annoying ass Pokemon you could possibly imagine. Yay, poison point. I can't I just send out Paris as a bit of a joke. Press is like, oh Jesus, Qu Jesus Christ! Paris actually does really well in this part. First time paralysis, paralysis, which is good. And I got poisoned. I absolutely hate being poisoned because I can't be asked to get out antidotes from the bag and waste a turn where I probably would get poisoned again. Oh, oh no! Oh, deja vu. Oh, that's that's even worse. Absolutely hate Nidoran. I might get one. I will have to decide. Right now, I'm going to send out Clefable as a bit of another joke. Oh, it's so sweepy. Yeah, Encore's a useless move, unless the last move they used was Leah, but then you'd be top of the game, I must say, because all Encore does is make them use the same move over and over. What was that a super effective move? Yeah, I wasn't taking any risks because of my prize water, so I kept using water gun, so I was like, please don't poison me, <laughs> please don't poison me, but I took it out. And now heal up. Alright, so this fight is really quite hard. If I tried this once up before and I got thrashed. You see, I'm just switching around my party. Actually, this fight's really easy, but I kind of make an idiot out of myself. The first time I did this fight, I got destroyed because it used Karate Chop and it got a critical hit on Spiro and it killed it straight off the bat. And that was the most annoying thing. This mankey is the luckiest mankey in the whole game. I'm not joking. 
And this is my most unluckiest fight for Paris. It missed. My Pokemon that can kill it in one hit. <sighs> Oh yes, missed again. Why not? And then the hook one. He goes, mm, never mind. I'll just kill it. I'm like, oh great. <clears throat> and now, and now here comes my monkey for his monkey. Mine's five levels below. This should be interesting. If my Pokemon like survives long enough to actually hit it. Every time I fight this one, it just takes out all my Pokemon. Yep, so I should have sent out Spirit out and killed it in one then. Because I'd weakened it. Oh, I remember the first time I did this fight, I used Sing. I was like, come on. Oh, you got to kill it. It has an effect that stops it. Oh, wait, I use that effect all the time. <laughs> uh. It's super, super effective. I knew Clayball didn't have a chance, so I was just having a bit of a laugh. I never use water at all because I know it would just kill it. Yes, you keep using Leer. Not that it makes any sense how my defense lowered. And then I killed it in one. So it was terribly unnecessary for Clayball to even go out of harm's way. And now we've beaten them all. We beat Nugget Bridge. Hooray! So now all that's left to do is to beat this guy. Who is quite hard, I must say. And yeah, he's like, congratulations, you win. You win prize. You win prize. But Nugget, by the way, join Team Rocket. Please, please, please. You are cool. Join. Come on, join. I'm telling you. What? 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 I don't want to fight you. <gasps> Please. Why aren't those trainers helping me? Why are they just standing there? Don't they ever heal their Pokemon? He's trying to kill me. That won't help. This guy should seem like a double after the fight you've been through. Paris is my weakest, but it also no cut and flash, so it's and it can learn like stun spore, which is always nice. Oh, Paris is really brave in this fight. Paris, Paris is a brave crab monster. Be brave, crab monster. It also helps beat Ekans. Look, it's like <laughs> I'll just shrug it off. Six HP. <laughs> That's loads. And then, in, then poor little Paris got a bit confident. Or I just couldn't be asked to heal it. No! Ooh, that disgusting little retard. <laughs> Go Spiro. And as you can see, well, now we kind of got this fight in the bag. Um, not much to say now. This is the last thing that happens. And now we just take out Zubat. Oh yeah, we do it judo style. Leroy. Alright, let's just do this. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, come on, hurry up. We all know you're going to lose. And that is the most annoying thing in this whole video. My attack missed. Spiro's attack missed. And it has keen eye. Ugh. Can't lose accuracy, but it has terrible accuracy in the first place. And that, that's it. Now we've won. We have beat Team Rocket. Or well, it's one of its lowest underlings. And that ends this video. Well, not yet, but it's basically it. Okay, so next time we're it's going to be a no commentary trainer battle for the like video next time, but it'll be double speed, so it's a bit more interesting to watch. That's where you get Mewtwo, um, but. Go up here and there's TM tracks. Alright, I'll see you next time guys. Bye for part 14. Bye.